So the first thing we need to do in this section is install Inkscape. So Inkscape is free, uh, no charge for Inkscape. Uh, so open up a browser and you're going to go to inkscape.org. At the time of this video, uh, the current version is 1.3.2, but if you go to download, go to current stable version, and then you can just click uh, Windows installer package right here and then click here to start, and that will download the package for you. Uh, after that is downloaded, you're going to find it in your downloads folder. You can just double click on it and it'll start the install wizard. I'm just gonna hit next here. And then uh, you can do basically, this is asking me, I already have Inkscape installed, so it's asking me if I wanna change anything. I'm gonna cancel out of this. For you guys, just go ahead and install it. I installed mine on my D drive. You might install yours. You might only have one drive, so you put it on your C drive. Just remember where you install it. The default place is C, Program Files, Inkscape. You're gonna to need to remember that, okay? The reason you're gonna to need to remember that is because after you install, I'm gonna cancel mine, after your Inkscape is installed, you're going to need to download the OPCD palette. So this is a custom file that we use to basically color the splines or the color of the paths in Inkscape. Where do we find that? Well, it's in the OPCD Google Drive share. One place you can get that is the welcome email that you got when you registered for the tools at the very beginning of this progress. It's gonna have a link for the Google Drive in there. The other thing you can do is if you're registered, you can look in your shared folder. So here's my Google Drive and in my shared folder, there's a share here called OPC Downloads. It's going to be in there. The most consistent place, though, to find it is to open up Discord, go into the intro getting started channel, and there is a link in here to the Google Drive for the OPCDs. You might need to look around here a little bit, but it's listed in here. Here it is. I'm going to click on it. So here is all the software linked in the OPC Google Drive downloads folder. And in there, you're going to see there's one called Inkscape Palette V4. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to click on or download the OPCD V4 palette by clicking that. And you can see there it is and it is now downloaded. The next order of business is to open up my Windows Explorer and I'm going to go where I installed Inkscape. So for me, it was on my D drive. Maybe you put it on your C drive, but I put it on my D drive. I put it under Program Files and Inkscape. So now that I'm in here, I'm going to click on Share, Inkscape, and Palettes. And now I have a bunch. These are all the Inkscape palettes, and we're going to need, we're going to, need to add the one we downloaded. So we've got this window open. We're going to open up another window, and we're going to go to my Downloads folder where I downloaded the OPCD V4 Inkscape palette. And now I have the other window open here. I'm going to drag that into my Inkscape palettes window. And now you can see, there it is. I can close these now. And I'm going to open up Inkscape. And the last thing we need to do, and we never need to do this again unless you reinstall Inkscape into another computer, but I'm going to go down here to the three line icon in the lower right. You can see I call it a hamburger. I'm going to click on that and list it in here now should be our OPCD V4 palette. You're most likely going to have another one selected. We're going to select that and you can see it's going to show up across the bottom. This is our color palette. We're going to talk about this more later on. If it doesn't fill up your entire screen, you can right click on the hamburger. I'm sorry, just click on the hamburger and go to configure and then stretch to fill. Stretch to fill. I like to have it nice and wide so I can see everything. Um, but whatever you whatever your preference is okay so now we've got inkscape installed